Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby, and today I'm going to be doing a video that has been highly requested from me for a very long time that I just never got around to, and that is a video dedicated to books that made me cry. <laughs> Crying isn't a rare thing for me to do when it comes to books that I really love, because if a book like hits me right in the freaking feels, then I'm probably gonna cry. Like, it's just... It's my natural response to things. I wouldn't say that I cry from books super often. Like it really takes something special in a book to get me to that emotional state. Like I'm not a super emotional person. Here I have a few, I wanna say at least 10 or 12 books in front of me that made me cry the most out of all the books I've ever read. And I'm gonna start with the ones that had the fewest tears and then get as we go further and further it'll be like the most tears like I was a sobbing mess like couldn't even breathe these first two are books that made me like shed a tear kind of and I got like emotional but they didn't make me like sob sob <laughs> the first one is red white and royal blue by Casey McQuinston which I know is a weird choice because this isn't a sad book by any means this is actually a really cute romantic comedy novel but this book made me cry mostly at the end of it because this book just describes the America that I want to live in. I guess it just made me emotional because it made me like really think about the world that we're currently living in and it just made me so sad. So I think like this book gave me like hopeful tears, if that makes sense. But it also kind of made me sad because it's like this could have been our potential future now. I don't know, but this book was just so freaking cute and so beautiful and the ending just had me like crying a lot of the time. Another book that made me cry that was like mild tears was The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. This is the fourth book in a series, but these can all be read as standalones. But I actually read this one during the book too with on a few years ago. And I remember just I remember just crying so much at the end of this book. And to be honest, I can't even totally remember now why I was crying so much at the end of this or like what made me cry so much. I'm sure it was just such a beautiful story and it just like hit me right in the gut. But yeah, this book was one that made me cry and I remember crying over this one. This one's just a really, really beautiful love story. It has that trope of like two broken people finding hope in each other again. All right, these next books are gonna be starting to get towards the like really made me cry. <laughs> category. The first one is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This one is featured in almost everyone's books that made me cry video because this book is just so sad and so beautiful and like the imagery in this is so stunning. I think the main reason why this book makes everyone cry is because he's dealing with his mom having cancer and like I feel like that situation can make anybody cry like the idea of your parent having cancer or your parent being sick and your parent being close to death, like, how could that not make anyone, like, sob? Oh my god, this book is just so sad, and it really, like, touched me so much, and I'm actually planning on rereading this for the reading rush, so I'm really excited to, like, re-experience this book, even though I know it's gonna be heartbreaking. Next one I have is Loving Mr. Daniels by Brittany C. Cherry. This is another Brittany C. Cherry. Oh, she's such a beautiful writer. Like, her books make me so emotional. This one especially, this one's the, like the most that made me cry out of all the Britney C. Cherry books. Because this one follows this main character who her sister has recently died. And so, like, a lot of this book is, like, her talking about how she's like, my sister would have wanted this for me and whatever. And, oh my god, I think it's because I'm so close to my sister that, like, it just broke my heart. Like, it was so sad. And I think this really hit me too because I'm pretty sure her sister's name is Gabby in this. And her mom's name is Kim in this book, which is my mom's name, which is, like, super weird. So I just felt really, really connected to this main character and it just, like, had me bawling. I'm also a sucker for any time a book, like, includes a letter from, like, the dead character or whatever that they wrote in the past. Like, I just want you to be happy in the future. Like, ugh. That makes me cry. I'm such, oh my god. Gets me every time. It's that Nicholas Sparks bullshit, but it freaking works every time. Next one I have is Birthday by Meredith Russo. This one was actually one that surprised me a lot because I wasn't expecting to feel as much as I did in this book. I cried over a lot of different things in this book, but the main one was being the struggle of Morgan not being able to be comfortable in their own skin and like questioning 
who they are and struggling this entire book to come out to their family and oh my god this book just like ripped into my fucking soul and also this book also has the trope of morgan's mom died when they were young so the mom left behind all these fucking videos and like letters for them to like read when they turn to a certain age and oh my god it just freaking kills me and it's such a like i know it's such a cliche thing in storytelling but it's so emotionally effective for me if it's done right and this was done so well it was so beautiful and i spent a lot of this book crying <laughs> like especially the end i was just a mess over this book the next one i have is all your perfects by colleen hoover it made me cry like a little bit while i was actually reading this book but then I gave this book to my mom to read because this book, like, if you didn't know, this book kind of talks about the struggles of infertility in a marriage. Like, that's really what this book focuses on. My mom actually went through infertility for nine years before she had me. And so infertility is just something that's really close to my heart and to my mom's heart. And so reading this book, like, I found it to be very emotional when I personally read it. But then I gave it to my mom to read and she read it. And then we just had this whole thing, like, we just had this bond over this book. And my mom gave me these letters that she wrote when it was like the early 90s and she thought she would never get pregnant and it just like brought this book to a whole nother emotional level for me and i was just like sobbing and so this book just holds a really special place in my heart because of that oh my god dude this book is so freaking beautiful and it's so sad but great and so important all right the next one i have is it ends with us by colleen hoover i know i have colleen hoover's back to back okay colleen hoover just makes me cry but this one, oh my gosh, dude, I, oh, I was crying in this book from the midway point all the way through the end. Like, I couldn't even stop my tears from, like, falling. Like, this book is just written so beautifully, and these characters feel so real to me that, like, this situation felt so real to me that this girl, Lily Bloom, gets put into. Oh, I don't, like, I can't talk about this book without spoiling you for it, but just so you get an idea of, like, what it's about, this top little description just says, sometimes the one who loves you most is the one who hurts you the most. Killed me, dude, and the ending was just so freaking beautiful. I was just sitting there, like, crying. Like, after I finished this book, I was just sitting there for so long, just like crying, thinking about it. It's one of my favorite books of all time, and it just really, really like emotionally gutted me. <laughs> Alright, the next one I have is an obvious one, and that is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I know like everyone in the world has this book on their books that made me cry list, but I would be lying if I didn't put it on this list because this book made me cry like crazy. I actually listened to the audiobook when I read this book, and I was driving while I was listening to it and I was crying like while I was driving it was dangerous <laughs> oh my god like how could you not cry when you read this book because it's about these two teenagers that have cancer and you know they're most likely gonna die and it's just like really sad I'm down to the top four books that made me cry and it's honestly hard to like pick which one of these made me cry the most because all of them made me cry a lot <laughs> all right I think the next one I'm gonna show you is The Light We Lost by Jill Santapalo because this book made me cry so hard at the end and i actually read this last year during the book tubeathon i think and my sister actually filmed my reaction of me crying to this after i finished this book so maybe i'll insert a clip here this book is fucking sad oh my god i'm so <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This is like a romance that takes place over like a period of like 10 years, I want to say. And this ending, oh, it's just so beautiful and tragic and like sad. I think I wasn't expecting it to end the way it did, which is why I cried so fucking hard. To be honest, I think I just had a really shitty day when I read this book, so I just like needed a good cry <laughs> anyways. But like this book just definitely kicked me right in the feels and like I could not stop crying after I finished this book. Like, it was just so sad and so beautiful. All right, the next one I have is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which I know also might be an obvious one because, like, come on, dude. It's a World War II historical fiction novel. Like, of course 
it made me cry just because of the situation alone that these characters get put into but this book made me cry for a lot of reasons like there was this one scene towards the end of this book that takes place with the daughter like isabel and her dad in this book and that scene holy shit dude i had to put this book aside and just like sit there and cry for a few minutes like i could not even deal and i think it's because like i love my dad so much and just the thought of this shit going down like i could i couldn't even take it but this book just made me cry because like obviously because of the holocaust because of the situations that happened in this book but also just because of like the relationship between isabel and vn like they're sisters and they're so like close but they're so different and oh my god just everything about this book it's so freaking beautiful and sad the second to last book that made me cry so much is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Is anyone surprised? Probably not. Okay, it was mainly just the ending of this book, okay? It was the end. I Like, after I finished this book, I was depressed for like three weeks straight. I was just so sad after finishing this and I was just crying and it was a fucking mess. And if you didn't know, this is a young adult contemporary novel that is about these two siblings who start to form a romantic relationship. And their names are Loken and Maya, and they're the oldest siblings out of all of their younger siblings. And they have to become kind of like parents to their younger siblings because their mom is such a raging alcoholic, psycho bitch, one of my least favorite characters of all time. Everything about this book is just really sad and tragic. Like this whole story in general is just really sad. So like the entire book has this really depressing mood to it anyways. But then that ending, like, holy fuck, dude. I was so sad after I finished this and I just cried for so long because, oh, one of the saddest endings of all time for sure. And the number one book that made me cry the most is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. And this book, oh my gosh, dude. This book was an emotional roller coaster because it is 815 pages long. It took me about a week to get through this whole book. And the entire week, I was in emotional stress <laughs> because of this book. Not to mention, I had a major life thing going on while I was reading this book. I had to put my dog down the week that I read this. Like halfway through the week and halfway through this book, I had to put my dog down. And that alone caused me so much emotional stress. So I just feel like because of that, the memory of this book is even more strong in my mind because I was like, I was just crying the whole week. This is definitely by far the most depressing book I've ever read in my life, but it's also the book that's just had the biggest emotional impact on me because I just love these characters so much. And like this book is so, so gorgeously written. Like it's honestly one of my favorite written books of all time. Just like the way the writing style and like, oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. Especially too, like the ending of this book especially made me cry even more than I had been the entire time in like the rest of the book. Like, oh my God, it's just all so sad. And this book has a lot of very heavy trigger warnings for like everything, like everything. But honestly, this book was 100% worth it to me. Like it's, it's one of my favorite books of all time. Like it's really high up there and it's just so freaking beautiful. But it's very, very sad. Like, you will cry a lot while you read this. <laughs> Those are all of the books that made me cry the most. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if any of these books also made you cry. Or what books have made you cry that I didn't mention. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys soon with a new video.